Tokyo, my dear, dear friends. This is Daisuke, and I very much hope that this video finds you well and in good spirits wherever you are in the world. And I very much mean that. Please continue to take very good care of yourselves during these times. That is very, very important. And I'd like to continue with the videos where I talk about films that I strongly recommend uh, if you are interested in films that I particularly enjoy or find fascinating for one reason or another. Uh, these are just some suggestions that I have just in case you're interested. One such film is one that I've spoken about on this channel a number of times but never in any great detail. It's always been uh, a bit of a failing of mine uh, that I haven't been able as of yet to really get into this film with a lot of detail and a lot of vigor. It's always been one of my, uh, it's, it's been a film that I've been utterly mesmerized by and it's a film that continues to make me wonder, it makes me question about motivations, about what characters are thinking and what kind of of world it is we are occupying. Uh, it is a world that is both epic and intimate. It is a world of the day-to-day, -day, but is al also a world of great epiphany and also a lot of insight into, uh, into many things about, uh, about parenthood, about uh, masculinity and femininity also about uh, existence and the meaning of one's life and the purpose of one's life and how that plays out over time which is also a very big deal in this film time and how time is treated this film is the Chantal Ackermann film from 1975 according to the back of this Criterion release which is by the way spine number 484 so the name of the film is Jean Dillman 23 qui de commerce 1080 Bruxelles. So it's a very long title, but it is a film that is, I think, uh, one of the most uh, critical and important films from the modern cinema. So the modern cinema uh, meaning films from the latter half of the 20th century onwards. And uh, this film still holds a lot of great impact. An incredible amount of impact is contained within the frames of this film from the word go. And one realizes when one, when one is watching it for the first time that we are seeing something that is uh, many things at once. It is an extraordinary portrait of a particular character, a number of characters in, in any event, but one particular character here the the title of the film uh, and we have a portrait that is painted in a way that seems so simple and so uh, so almost innocent and neutral but when we dig into the film and as we progress through the minutes and the hours and the days that progress through this particular work I think we are realizing that we are witnessing something that is something along the lines of almost transcendental. There is something really uniquely powerful about the portrayal of the seemingly ordinary day-to-day -day and how this is played out over cinematic time and the way in which human drama is interwoven in what what otherwise might seem to some to be the simple and the mundane. There is so much minute detail that uh, composes the human drama that is really being uncovered before our very eyes as we watch this film progress, that it is a, a, a great testament to a sort of portrayal of the human spirit and the human condition under certain pressures and stresses and or other circumstances that may or may not necessarily be clear and expressed uh, explicitly as we are watching the film. 
which means that we must also do a lot of work on our end. We must try to figure out exactly what the characters are thinking some of the time. We must try to figure out what some of the motivations might be some of the time. We must try to uh, engage with the work and see how we can try and, and engage with the work via the minute details which, as I say, might seem to be ordinarily mundane, but in fact hold a lot of potential meaning and significance, especially when we see how time and space and repetition act and react alongside each other and also against each other in contradiction with each other to turn out a work that is, simply put, one of the most sublime and impactful works from the 1970s. This is the film Jean Dillman, 23, Quai de Commerce, 1080 Pourcel. It is often referred to as Jean Dillman because the title is long, I understand that, but uh, its full title is Jean Dillman, 23, Quai de Commerce, 1080 Pourcel. And, and uh, if possible, I know it's a long title, I know it's very long, and it's, it's, it's quite, uh, quite difficult sometimes, but if possible, when you are referring to this film, uh, it would be really great if uh, one can try to refer to it under its full title, and I insist upon that, or I at least suggest that, let me take that back, don't insist, but I suggest that, because there is something quite significant about having the film titled the way it is. And I think once you see the film and you realize the way in which it is dealing with identity and anonymity, then we realize that there is something quite significant with respect to uh, identity and presence and the physical space and the environment. And once we have an intuition as to the significance of these particular themes and constructs, then I think we can realize that the title, in its full glory, really holds a lot of significance. And so therefore, if possible, if possible, if not, that's okay, my friends, but if possible, uh, when you are talking about this film with your friends or with any other people who are interested in, uh, in cinema, then uh, please, uh, if possible, uh, try to refer to the film as in its full title. So once again, it's it's a long title and uh, it's a little bit hard to uh, keep things straight, especially if uh, this is not one's first language and it's certainly not mine. And so it, it took me a while to, to get the hang of it. But uh, yes, uh, so the full title is Jean Dillman, 23, Quai de Commerce, 1080 Bruxelles. And so uh, that is the, the title. And so if possible, uh, yes, uh, this is the full title. And it is the full title of a full and rich cinematic experience. It is, for some, it might be a unique film experience. For others, it might take a few sittings in order to get through it. But pl pl please believe me when I say that it is so worth it. And once you get used to the rhythms and the tones and the, the mannerisms and the way in which the film is presenting information, then you really can't, it, it's, it becomes something that you can't take your eyes off of. And you watch all the little details that unfold. Every little thing in every part of the, the, the frame counts. And when something happens that is a little bit off, a little bit different, then that is a very, very big deal. And this is a film that shows us the importance and the significance and, dare I say it, the, the almost charged lived-in experience of the ordinary and mundane. But that too, that description too is somewhat deceptive because when I say ordinary and mundane, what I really mean is something that is akin to the very minute points and significances and thoughts and feelings and rumors and spaces that occupy the very essences of the human condition. And so this is what we have here, something that is really dealing with uh, a minute intimate uh, depiction or a representation or presentation 
of this particular character in these particular circumstances and it is such riveting drama what a film i strongly recommend this if you haven't seen it already this is the film jean dilman 23 qui de commerce 1080 Bussel from the one and only filmmaker chantal akerman one of these days i really must speak about this in detail maybe a film club live stream that might be something that uh, i could try to do because it's this is a film that i i would love the opportunity to talk about in more detail but that is also to say that i strongly recommend this if you haven't seen it already my dear friends okay my friends so that's it for now and so until we meet again please be happy and healthy and well and please keep on watching a lot of great great movies so until we meet again, my friends, thank you as always, as always, my friends, and cheers. Mm-hmm.